Hello students, so let's go to the next video for group theory. And in this video, we are just going to talk about the cyclic group, which is a very interesting group. It has very interesting property also, and which is mainly used into the crystallography and to understanding all the symmetry, which will have a cyclic property. So what are these group? The cyclic group has some beautiful property. So if we can define any group G, and it is basically mth order group. So this G can be defined as identity A, A square, A cube up to A, M minus 1. So if we can represent group like this, that means the element, the other element can be generated through one particular element. So here I can say this A is a generator of a group. A is generator of group because other element can be easily generated through A. A operation A will give you A square. A operation A square will give you A cube or you can just generate, you can just say A operation A operation A will give you A cube. So if some group, some collection of element have this type of property, then they can assume to be a cyclic group. And it is very interesting that cyclic group will always abelian in nature. So they are commutative. So what I can say, I can say, suppose this is my A1, this is my A2, then what I have, I have A1 operation A2 is equal to A2 operation A1. So they are abelian in nature. Cyclic group are always abelian in nature. And they are commutative. And here we have to also discuss the order of element. So suppose we have a group where a to the power m is equal to identity and we can define r. So suppose we have a to the power r which is not going to identity. Then r is said to be order of this particular element. So r is said to be order of this particular element. For example, let us try to go for C4 group. So we have C4 group. What is this? This is E, A, A square, A cube. And here I can assume that A4 is equal to identity. So this is definition of C4 group. So what is order of a group? Order of a group is basically 4 because we have 4 number of elements. So order of a group is 4 or dimension of 4 and if we want to say what will be order of this particular element let's say this element is a then we have a to the power 1 and we have a to the power 4 is equal to e that means this 1 is less than 4 means this r is less than m and then order of this one is 1 similarly the order of this one is 2 order of this one is 3 because A4 is equal to identity. So this is very important. So first we have to define what is your identity in a term of multiplication or in term of operation. Then we can talk about the uh, order of element. So you have to always keep in mind what is the difference between order of group and order of element. And we have another very interesting uh, basically example of this that we have a rotation of a uh, equilateral triangle about z-axis. So what we have? We have a equilateral triangle that value is 1, 2, 3 and uh, this is your identity or E. The second operation is just uh, rotation of uh, 3 is there, 1 is there, 2. So rotation is of 120 degree and third is all about we have 2, 3, 1 and we are just going to rotate in anti-clockwise direction about z axis and this is rotation of 240 degree and if we have this particular and obviously we know that these are a group. So what will happen? We can easily get this one by rotation of 2 time of this particular element. So if you remember this will be C3 and this will be C3 square. So yes, this the E C3 and C3 square is a identified as cyclic group. 
and what is of order of this group the order of this group is basically 3 but order of this element is 1 order of this element is 2 and c3 2 is easily generated with c3 so once we can rotate is twice we will get 240 degree rotation to this one so this is a very interesting group which is known as cyclic group similarly you can also have an example that is cube root of unity so you have one omega omega square so here you can say that suppose this is your group here you can say that the order of group is order of group is three because there are three element and we have order of omega is one so order of omega is one why it is one because we know omega cube is equal to one and all other are less than this one so order of omega square is two so this is all about the property of cyclic group so students there are n number of cyclic group we can introduce to understand the symmetry of a physics so let's try to understand this thing if you have any doubt then you can let me know in the next video we will talk about the subgroup thank you